Hi, I'm Dr. Rashmi Yogesh, IVF consultant, Kushi Fertility and IVF Center, Bangalore. Down syndrome is a condition wherein the baby, instead of having 46 chromosomes, will have 47 chromosomes. Usually, the baby receives 23 chromosomes from the father and 23 from the mother. In case the baby receives one extra chromosome for the, from the father or from the mother, then there will be 47 chromosomes. In Down syndrome, the extra chromosome is in the 21st pair and thereby the baby will have 47 total chromosomes and as a result of this, there will be a lot of medical complications including intellectual growth, there will be mental dysfunction and cardiac abnormalities in the baby and that's what is called as the Down syndrome. People used to call it as a Mongolian baby in the past. There are a lot of ways nowadays to detect Down syndrome even before the baby is born. This can be broadly classified into two. One is even before conception which is called as a pre-implantation test and then during the pregnancy which is called as the prenatal test. In the pre-implantation test, the embryo which is created out of an IVF or an ICSI is tested for the presence of any chromosomal abnormality, especially numerical abnormalities such as Down syndrome. What actually happens here is the embryo when it is 5 day old which is called as a blastocyst, uh, during this stage a few cells from the embryo would be taken out with the help of laser assisted hatching and the biopsied cells would be sent to the genetic test center for analysis. The number of chromosomes can be analyzed and then the report would come out whether the baby, the fetus, the embryo is normal or abnormal. Thereby we will be able to detect any kind of chromosomal abnormality and choose to transfer only those embryos that are normal and therefore the occurrence of Down syndrome can be almost 99.9% .9 wiped off this way. However, in natural pregnancies, one usually chooses to do a prenatal test. This is definitely a requirement in women who are more than 35 years old. That's because the occurrence of Down syndrome is about 1 in 1500 at the age of 20 but increases to 1 in 25 over 40 years of age. And therefore, all women beyond the age of 35 should definitely consider getting a blood test done during the 11th week of pregnancy. The baby they are carrying is normal. The prenatal diagnostic test is nothing but a blood test wherein around 11 to 13 weeks the mother's blood is taken and the fetal DNA is analyzed with the help of certain biomarkers. The biomarkers are things like alpha fetoprotein, HCG, unconjugated estriol, placenta, pregnancy associated uh, plasma protein A and also something called as inhibin. The biomarkers are actually proteins that are released either from the fetus, from the placenta or by the mother. With the help of these biomarkers, the chances of the fetus having Down syndrome can be calculated and therefore it gives a risk score, however not a diagnosis. Usually, if there is Down syndrome, the unconjugated estriol and the alpha fetoprotein levels would be low, the inhibin and the HCG levels would be high. They give us an indication of the baby having a possibility of Down syndrome. Along with these biomarkers, it's very essential that a nuchal translucency scan is done between 11 to 13 weeks, 6 days. During this time, the nuchal translucency is measured to understand if there could be a possibility of abnormalities and the face, the profile shows a flat profile in Downs along with a flat nasal bridge and absent nasal bone. However, these are all predictive markers and cannot be a one in one 
diagnosis of Downs and therefore along with NT scan if the biomarkers are also tested it gives us a predicted value of almost close to 90% or above that but for definitive diagnosis something called as a Curion Villi sampling or amniocentesis is required. In cases of Downs the because it's only a numerical abnormality a hundred percent diagnosis of the downs can be made with the help of either amniocentesis or chorion villi sampling chorion villi sampling is done in the first trimester whereas amniocentesis can be done between 15 to 19 weeks in chorion villi sampling transcervically the chorion villi the uh, finger-like projections that form most of the placenta would be taken out and they represent the fetal DNA. In amniocentesis, the amniotic fluid would be taken out transabdominally and the fetal DNA is again analyzed with the help of the amniotic fluid. This definitely makes a diagnosis of 100% and therefore the Down syndrome can be detected even before birth. Down syndrome creates a lot of psychological impact on the parents who are raising the child as a child finds it really difficult to lead a normal life because of the mental disability and also the cardiac abnormalities. Therefore, detecting Down syndrome well before the child is born is a very, very important thing for women, especially beyond the age of 40.